<laughs> Welcome back to our channel, guys. Yes. We look crazy. <laughs> look at we my do. hair. Look oh at your God. hair. Oh my gosh. How would you describe this last week? It's been crazy, but good. I mean, just in a, a lot of transition, a lot of prepping. Prepping. And we're gonna take you guys along. So, our house, I don't think you guys have ever seen our house like this. It's no. a complete disaster. Let's show you. But now. for those of you that are new oh. here, I'm Ellie. I'm Josh. And we, and we vlog. vlog. <laughs> Why are you doing your hair? Because it's crazy. This is a reality of life. It is. Okay. So, you know the aesthetically pleasing Ellie's resting place. Gosh. But let's give some context, okay? He's leaving with trash. So we're in a one bedroom apartment and we decided that we we're just gonna stay here and spend the first year of baby's life. Cause what's cool is that in this apartment complex, you could just transfer to a bigger unit if something comes available in your price range and you don't have to break your lease you could just transfer and it, they said that if it's close to your lease ending you don't have to pay any fee but there's like a small fee that you pay if it's like early on which we're totally fine with we realized that like budgeting and everything is like way more important than having like this ginormous place it's like aesthetically pleasing we're gonna have everything that we need for baby but it's gonna be a little bit more crowded <laughs> than before so what we've been doing is decluttering, selling everything on Facebook Marketplace and donating a lot of stuff, just, you know, blessing people with things that like, you know, you just have things that sit around in your house and you don't really look at it. I'm like, if I haven't looked at it in the last year, I don't need it, which is really hard because like when it comes to like my home decor stuff, you know, I get like emotionally attached and I'm like, these are like good finds that like either I thrifted or gems, you know, that I always get all the bargains. So just selling, reselling them for like the low has been kind of hard. And then now it's public knowledge guys, but I resigned from my job. So I will no longer be teaching. I'm staying home with baby and whatever else the Lord puts on our hearts or opportunity, I do want to pursue, but anything that I could be present with my baby. We don't have family here that could like stay with our baby. I mean, I have my sister, but like she works and she has a baby. <laughs> but the goal has always been for me to be a stay at home mom. So that's why we secretly waited to have kids for so long. And the Lord decided for it to be in this season where everything seems upside down but it's so beautiful at the same time because we're learning a new level of dependency anyways with all that being said i'm no longer teaching so i was donating all my teaching stuff too i have one box left here with teacher stuff um, yeah home decor all that stuff whatever so i want to show you guys the closet that we're going to be setting up for baby so all this stuff is stuff from the registry all that stuff is stuff that we got from the registry we still do have a dallas baby shower left so we'll see what else people bless our baby with we have a storage closet at the entrance where we would keep like christmas decor vacuum like all the stuff and we like organized everything into bins and made it fit into our walk-in closet so now that storage closet is going to be all for baby he's back so let me show you guys what the closet looks like right now I wish we had a before of like the storage. Hold up. There we go. So this is like, this is a door to enter our apartment and then boom. There's a this coat is, closet. It's like a coat. Into a regular closet, I guess. Yeah, so I had these cubicles in my closet and I just had like jeans and stuff in there. So I empty all that out and I got inserts so that we could put baby's clothes. We could put stuff on top. We can hang stuff and then we have more baskets and then there's actually some space here so i plan on getting something to hang so that when we close it it's more storage stuff we're yeah. improvising but it's definitely enough space i feel like for for the baby it's not like his clothes or the baby's clothes not gonna be bigger <laughs> he said his again welcome to the series of his yeah when we don't know the gender <laughs> oh Sorry, my gosh like um so there was two that I wanted to keep, just these two. You wanted to keep? Yeah, and then I'll get rid of that and that. No, these are the, the ones from the... from. Yeah, from but the we top. don't use it. That is a question. Because you're only getting rid of two of them. 
<laughs> you see, these are these are the debates that you're like, what do I actually need? I just think, guys, comment down below because I just think by the time <laughs> we get another couch, she's not even gonna want to use these pillows for the other couch. I have used it multiple times. <laughs> He's doing the dog face right now. I'm gonna insert it right here. Yes, insert that. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick break to eat, but I'll show you guys you need to eat. when we start setting up the closet for baby. She's so cute. I've been so excited. What's in the package? Oh, his coworker sent him something. Food, check. Everything's looking a little bit more clean. <laughs> I'm He's working. still working. Oh God, I'm so, <laughs> it's, it's so crazy. Get, get the bump. This is the current update. Seven months tomorrow, 28 weeks tomorrow. That's crazy. <laughs> and we're about to start grabbing stuff from here. In that closet. And I'll organize it over there. Before I actually start putting anything in, I wanted to kind of show you guys some things that we have. We have a couple of knitted blankets. Obviously, all of this is going to be washed, but I'm just putting it away for now because they've been in the way. This is a little wrap for me to carry baby in. It's not your famous solid baby, but I heard great things about this one. I got this one on Amazon. It's called the Boba Wrap. It's like this beautiful like taupe. We have some washcloths, more washcloths, washcloths, burp cloth. We have bottles. We got Dr. Brown's. This is like a bottle warmer from Munchkin. Any moms that are expecting, take advantage of like Amazon, baby list, they all give you a free little gift bag. And in it comes like bottles, different things that you may need, creams. This is the brushes to clean bottles. So all this I'm gonna actually put in the cabinet because I made space. Baby's gonna have its own section. More bottles because you just never know which one your baby's gonna actually take. And then we have a mushy plate for when baby gets older. Oh. We have a whole thing of books. I wanted to show you guys this collection because it's stunning. Who writes these books? Sally, Lloyd Jones, and Jago? Yeah, they write all of them. So this one is called Happy. It's based off of Psalm 92. Then we have Known, based off of Psalm 139. Near. Psalm 139 as well. Found Psalm 23. I'm so excited about that collection. And then along with that, have other cute little books for baby. I got this one for Joshua for Father's Day. It says, your baby's first word will be Dada by Jimmy Fallon. It's actually really funny. We got gifted the camera to watch the baby. This is like another part of it that we probably won't be needing, but we went with this one. Always canceling headphones because we go to upper room where worship is very loud. We got the Hatch sound machine, of course. Hairbrush and stuff. Passies, thermometer, another sound machine, but for the stroller. Head scrub, little hats. All these little things come in the little Amazon free bag. Frida Baby nose snot snot sucker that might be nasty for some of you we got diaper cream another nail clippers this is so important for the high chair this is a plastic that goes on the bottom to catch the food and you just wipe it off we got a whole bunch of different kinds of pacifiers because you don't know which one baby's gonna like this is the bib for catching food play with stockings more hats more hats oh a changing mat to go in the diaper bag and then I'll show you guys the clothes when I'm hanging it up. Again, everything will be washed, but I just need a place to put everything for now. And then I have a whole bunch of postpartum nursing stuff, but 
Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. Let's go. Seeing it for the first time. I haven't revealed it, so look, look at the closet, how it's looking. Like, look at the little clothes. Like, and the bins in the phone. Stuff in your phone. <laughs> what is this one? This one looks like it's super long. Like this is what for three years. Yeah, old? that's 24 months. That's the biggest clothing we've got. I'm gonna give you guys a better angle. So cute. Baby things. Baby things. Quick water break. He's on work. Man. The camera battery was low, so I couldn't show his handyman skills. But this is a designated cabinet for baby. So I just put our bottles, Oaxaca, breast milk bags, a manual pump, bottle warmer, and then a bib and plate that I told you guys. I just put all that stuff in there. It feels so good to have a place for everything now. Oh my gosh, we have to clean up this mess down here. That's all the boxes I was opening. <laughs> I'm gonna see what else I can get from that corner to fit into this. But let me give you guys a better view of the closet. Hold up. So this is what we're working with. I have two bins up here for like electronic stuff and books. I don't know if you guys can see, those are the books. Those are like the electronic stuff, some stuff that I'm not using. Then I have clothes, blankets, swaddle. This is some postpartum stuff for me. Some baskets that I will be preparing around the house with diapers and changing pads, burping cloths. Over here I put washcloths and the burping cloths. I put hats, little miscellaneous things, socks, passies. Then over here is just a whole bunch of onesies and little pants. And then this is where all the diaper cream and bath stuff will go. So if you look back, and again, we're just getting started. I have to clean all this up. This is done. And now let's see what else I can get from that corner over there. What's up? So it's like three days later and she's looking as beautiful as ever hey. with her little stomach. Babies is moving around a lot. Gave us a little scare yesterday. But hey, don't talk about that. <laughs> but Baby wasn't about. moving in its regular pattern. So I was worried. But I think this is a very cool way Look how dirty to say <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one. Wait, Hope we gotta enjoyed. show them the apartment after. Oh, okay, never mind. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> okay, so you guys saw how it was before. We had a huge box right here. Say hi. <laughs> and we had a bunch of different boxes everywhere right here, which we put, which all the clothes and some of the other stuff that are a little smaller, we put in the closet and then we also did you show them that we put a cabinet with all the bottles yeah oh you did show them okay yeah. so so what's left there is things to build when closer to when baby arrives so yeah. we're not gonna put that out and then that's like the stroller and that's a stroller that right. um her parents got for us so Yay. thank you grandma and grandpa <laughs> so you guys saw the, the reality of like when we were in the real time mess and organizing and then this is after so we feel so much like more it's more peace yeah more peace <laughs> it was so much chaos it was a lot of chaos but it was like we weren't stressing out about it too much just because we knew that it was going to be we just had to get it done yeah basically. i had to let go of my like ocd 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we look a little bit more put together. I do my hair. He still needs to wash his hair. His hair looked good, but it looked cr it looks now crazy. he put it up. Okay, we're gonna go get coffee, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye. Boom.